Hello people, this is Lato7 here and this time we're doing some trust team racing. The last time we finished off with the tokens and now we will be admiring what they open in our eyes. The gems, my ladies and gentlemen, the gems indeed. So here we're just gonna start off with the red one, the red one indeed, the one on the far left, so yeah. Let's begin our racing, our challenges and we will draft. We will talk that difficulty to the maximum and we will see how well we will go with this gems, ge gemstone challenges. So, the first track will be Grass Cove and now we will see how well it will go. And it seems that we get a good start, we get a good start indeed and they are actually trying to fight back this time, they are actually trying to beat me in the racing before I try to overtake me but I will not allow him that chance and he is gonna blow up oh unfortunate and I jump over the box brilliant no power up for me but uh, gladfully there is one right after so Tiny wanted to leave a TNT but I'm gonna leave a night and I'm gonna miss that box oh unfortunate for me so anyway I believe that we are going to be on the fifth place what is this? What is this madness? We are on the fifth place. That is not acceptable whatsoever. And tiny, prepare yourself. Prepare for yourself for the shield. Ha! They are actually useful, useful for once, but I prefer bombs because bombs are actually a thing that you can fire backwards and then go with that. For I actually is trying to fight back on against me, but I have something what I just forever mentioned: a bomb that shall explode and make for us. Go away from my sight! So here I'm just gonna leave down Nitro and that is gonna secure my place being away from Pura! So yeah, Tiny Tiger is gonna try to get his place. He's gonna get his retribution on me, but no, I cannot allow. Because I used that shield of mine, what I had in Crest Bandicoot 3, and I will not allow Tiny to overtake me now. That incompetent bastard. That incompetent fool who has always failed me oh so many times. Yeah, I cannot allow him to overtake me. Not now. And we shall fire off the shield as we cross the finish line. And that is the race for you, ladies and gentlemen. But it's only the first race of the bunch. Of the bunch indeed. There are four races as you can see from from it. And we are going to be on the leading position. Then he's going to have it. Uh, six points, uh, Grass is gonna have uh, three points, and Pora is gonna have one point, I believe. Not quite sure, but we are gonna see that just now. Because the fact remains to be that we are gonna have the exact same order, so no longer do we have to start from the eighth place all the way in every race, but this time we shall start on the first place because we finished first on the last race. So yeah, we're just gonna leave down a TNT for hopefully hitting Pura this time as well. So I'm just gonna take this and nobody's exploding. How unfortunate. So Pura, get out of my way! I have to save this missile for someone special, someone special who the games were named after, Crash Bandicoot, but he dodges it. He dodges it indeed. I make a little bit of miscalculation with my missile right over there but I will not make a miscalculation with this battle Coco hit that no you didn't you are not coming through me I will not allow you to overtake me not like this not by this unappealing matter of yours so I will use my turbos and be on the first place I dare you to get a missile I dare you Coco you will not get a missile because I will not allow you to do just that. And I'm on the third place. Look at this racing. Look at this racing. I'm not doing all that well in the first place. But then again, they are actually fighting back. So yeah, and they're trying to shoot me down. And I lost my flipping UK Uka mask. How great. And I got it back. I got it back. That's great. Go, go. Why did you? Why you steal my box? Why you steal my Wumba fruits? You don't need them. I believe that your missile was already juiced up and that will be... But anyway, I get my 10 Wumba fruits and you know all know what that means. Shaka time. Or maybe not. But yeah. <laughs> A little bit of fail shortcut. Anyway, we are gonna hit Coco and now Tiny. 
brace yourself and jump all over the place. I do. So yeah, we are going to try to win this race as well. And if we win this race, we will be all set to set and ready for the third race. And if we win that, we don't even have to consider ourselves with the fourth race, actually. But even then, we, we have to go through the race, but we really don't have to race on it all that aggressively because the fact remains to be that that will be the fourth race and if I already have won it this three times I have mathematically calculated that I cannot possibly lose at that point in the game so we get the 18 points tiny is at 12 points Crash is on four and Gogo is on three and there's the poor 1000 left behind so yeah Anyway, we are gonna have the third race, and the third race is possibly gonna be on the one, the only, Blizzard Bluff, I remember. So yeah, and you know what's the final race, I mentioned it on the last episode, but I believe that you should be remembering it pretty well. So anyway, we are gonna get the mighty boost of ours and just go with that. We are just gonna drift our way to victory in this track as well. And not get squished by that thing again. That massive boulder, I will not allow it to squish me. And this time, no, I'm not gonna, no. I almost were gonna go with the shortcut, but then I was like, mm. I kinda had a, some kind of you know, hindrance in my mind that maybe I shouldn't win this race all that easily. Maybe I should just try to win it fair and square and not use shortcuts on this race. So yeah. To make it fair for the AI, I am not going to use shortcuts in this race at all. So, Coco and Tiny, they are fighting back against me once again. So I'm just thinking, okay, so... I'm just gonna leave this DMD behind. No, you're not gonna eat it. How oh, well, unfortunate for you, Tiny. I was hoping that you wouldn't have to be taken down this way anyway. Just hit that DMD. Great! And Coco is gonna hit that other TNT. And okay, where are you? And we are just gonna hit the all the opponents. So hit all the opponents. So yeah, that's pretty great. That's pretty nifty. And yeah, I believe that this will be pretty much concluding our race racing here. I believe that we could. I am. Um, I believe that I'm gonna win this race. There's no question about it. No doubt in my mind that I will win this. Because the fact remains to me that, well, look at that distance between me and them. And if I, there is nothing really I can fail on, so, yeah, that's that's how it is. I'm not gonna fail it. I'm not gonna fail this time, so we're just gonna go with the bomb and explode it! And that will be the game. That will be the game indeed. And now, if we go plus nine, and we have 28. And if then Tiny gets nine out from the next race, that means that he... Can, will be only equal with ours, and I believe that we are gonna win this either way, so that's how it is, so we cannot, we can, if, it, if that's not the case, we can be on the fourth place and still win the cup, so that's how it is, we, we are pretty much have this game in the bag, this gem in our bag, so the final race will be on the all-threaded Baboos Pyramid, and this time... This time we don't have to jump down, but I probably will, because the fact remains to be that I want to blow you all up! And yeah, just the, the thing is that I'll wipe you all out! So yeah, <laughs> we're just gonna jump down because I just wanted to do that, just for the sake of the relic race, the memories of the relic race, and how dreaded, how, pro how, much, how problematic it was. <laughs> so yeah. They get a Yuga Yuga Mass, so they get a Yuga Yuga Mass indeed, and we're gonna use this said Yuga Yuga Mass to take on Grass Bandicoot, and that will be all fine and dandy on my behalf. So, Pura, here's my revenge on you as well. What? You ninja, how could you dodge my attack so? You. You planned this, didn't you? Take that. Take that! Objection! And yeah, stuff like that. Phoenix Rite Galore! So yeah, Phoenix Wright references of Papo's Pyramid. What is this? I always reference Phoenix Wright on Papo's Pyramid. I I kind of do, you know. I, I I don't know why I do that. I mean, maybe it's just kind of possible habit or something. I don't know. I, I, there isn't much to connect the two, really. And yeah, I guess the 
the music here is kind of goofy in a way, so and the feeling for it can be a bit goofy in its own own right. It can be goofy on its own right, but then there are the Phoenix wrongs and <laughs> you know, stuff alike, stuff alike. So yeah, I believe that we are going to win this race no matter what, unless Tiny is gonna use some cheat codes and overtake me once again, I because I remember quite quite vividly that Tiny did indeed use some cheat codes and overtake me on engine laps. I didn't know how it happened, but it did. So yeah, this is gonna be the end of the race, and but I don't think it will be the end of the episode, because it seems that it's gonna be only 9 minutes long. So, I believe they are gonna do a 40 minute episode or so, so, rendering galore! <laughs> but yeah, I'm thinking that we are gonna do all of the uh, relic races on one shot! Indeed, indeed. I should have prepared myself better because I should get something to drink. <laughs> yeah, I mean, even though I have a good long son, I have very, I can uh, use my voice quite effectively. However, sometimes uh, you just want to have a little bit of drink to keep it keep it moist, you know. So Tiny is gonna be on second place. Uh, Coco will be on the third place, playing some Tetris, I believe, or I don't know actually. That's just a paw. I'm not quite sure what she's doing. Anyway, we are gonna just the uh, um, the red gem that it will unlock. That red gem unlocks Ripperoo in our disposal, and now we can use Ripperoo in the arcade mode. That's great. Of, of course, it was unlocked already because I have already one game that's completely. Well, done and all, but you know, you get the point. I believe you do. So anyway, we are gonna have the next challenge. The next challenge in the Green Gem Cup. So, now, we will challenge the Green Gems. And we will challenge ourselves to beat the Dracers once again on these tracks. And let's see how well we will perform! So... We will be on the rules too. Troops, troops indeed. Polari on the first place, Pura on the second, Coco on the third, Repress on the fourth, and the others are somewhere else. So we get a great start. I'll be on the second place. Second place right off the bat, but Trash Bandicoot is gonna overtake us. We are not gonna allow that because we are going to drift our way to victory. We hope that we are gonna drift as fast as we can so we can keep Grass Bandicoot behind us and we can overtake Coco Bandicoot. Coco Bandicoot is going pretty well, pretty going pretty fast indeed. And she's shooting missiles at wall. She's, she's getting arrogant. She's thinking that she can beat me without any help at all. She's thinking that he, she can beat me and can I leave down a bottle? Can I leave down a bottle what I'm gonna eat and Grass Bandicoot is gonna overtake me? No, no, I'm mistaken, I'm mistaken indeed, that's Pura! That's Pura, Coco and Pura! They are doing teamwork to beat me and I will not allow that mi missile to hit me. Okay, so... <laughs> anyway, uh, if I... I, I kind of have the tendency to pull the analog stick a bit forward when I want to go, well, forward, you know? That's why I didn't leave the bottle back, that's why I threw it away. So, Crash Bandicoot, here's my little surprise for you, that's my gift for being your father and all. I mean, it's it's your birthday, isn't it? Uh, I don't know, even know when Crash Bandicoot's birthday is, really. it's Crash Bandicoot was created around... Uh, I, I would say August, it was released somewhere around August or somewhere along those lines of 1996 uh, on PlayStation 1. One of the first games on the console. So, I, I really don't remember what's the deal with the Crash Bandicoot, when, what was the exact date when it was released. And better yet, what was the exact date when it was created, when the Crash Bandicoot, what we know now, was created. So yeah, I mean, <laughs> yeah, but we are gonna be Crash Bandicoot and Coco and Pura and all of the good guys with our own handy dandy racing skills. So yeah, we are just gonna go with that and we are gonna go with that indeed and we are gonna be in the first place on the next race. Next race indeed. <laughs> so yeah, now with the bloating shall commence and we will be preparing ourselves for the next race. Next race indeed. And it will be Coco Park. So we will go all cow cow here and oh, then we just we'll just go with that. Yeah, go with that. I'm just repeating myself. I am. Yes, I am. But the thing is that 
usually I might not always have something to say, so I just have a tendency to repeat some certain phrases, but I just like saying, like leaving a TNT behind. Because I like le leaving TNTs behind, so I will continue leaving them behind, and yeah, I, I don't really consider much about it, because I don't... I don't know even though I uh, make a comparison, because it doesn't work. So anyway, we are just gonna use this turbo right over here and try to overtake Polar. Polar, I will not allow you to be in front of me. I cannot allow a polar bear to be a human. That's that's just unacceptable in a world where Gabandicoots are racing against me and my cyborg friend alongside my mutated uh, animals what I have created. So yeah, that, that is completely unacceptable. That's, that's just out of the norm. <laughs> so yeah, anyway. The thing is that we are just gonna go with that and uh, take our final lap and yeah. It seems that Coco is not gonna even be able to rise from the from the grave what she put herself into on this on the own track of hers. I, that's kinda embarrassing to not win on their own track. I mean yeah, I mean did I I'm not quite sure actually did I fail on Codex Castle at any point in time. I mean, lose the race. I mean, I, I don't think I have lost the token race or anything, but then there is the Relic Relay race left, so I'm pretty worried about that, because Codex Castle Relic Race can be a bit difficult. Just saying. Just saying. Here, come with me. It can be a bit difficult. So anyway, anyway, we are gonna continue. Continue on with our Relic Racing, and Coco's gonna be on seventh place. That's quite unfortunate for her. So that seems that if we win the next race, there's no way they can come back at from that. Hence, I believe that we don't even have to worry about the fourth race. What is... I don't even remember what the fourth race is, but... Either way, either way, we are just gonna continue on and just go with that. Next up is Polar Pass! Polar Pass indeed! And this is also one of my favorite tracks. I mean, I really like a lot of snow levels because I... I don't know. I live in Finland and there, there is a, usually a white snow here. There is really never a green Christmas. Except a few times, but that's, that's just how it is. You can't always have what you can have. So yeah, there are green or actually black Christmases because <laughs> asphalt or galore and so on. There is much, much grass going around when, when you live in Finland around that time. So if it's not white Christmas, then it's definitely black Christmas. So yeah, I'm just gonna go with that and just go and jump all over the place. And I'm not gonna make the jump right there. I'm not gonna make the jump, so there's no point risking it. So I'm just gonna jump over here and take that box and yeah, I'm go with that. So we are gonna do just that user bumps and take over the place and go with that indeed. Go with that, go. And we fail! Why? Why did I have to jump over there? And the AI has no chance. You stand. No. I don't know what's happening here. I'm thinking it might be my mistake to do a things like that. But I, 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 I feel like blaming the controller. I feel like blaming the controller, and I should have to clean it up a bit. But yeah, it's been working pretty well. So I don't think it's. It might be the controller. It might not be. Not exactly sure about that, but does it really matter? It kind of does, because if I fail at a relic race like that, that's not good. That's not good at all, because you know how difficult the relic race can be to get the platinum relic on. And yeah, I'm gonna pause it for a little moment, and I'm just gonna strengthen the bonds with the connections and all, and let's see how well it will perform now. So yeah. It might be me, but I'm I'm having my doubts about that because I just think that it might be me, it might be the game, or it might be something else altogether. Who knows? But yeah, I I I I I I I I, 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 I have my doubts. I have my doubts indeed. But I'm mean, gonna win this race, no question about that. And Coco is gonna fall back again. What is this? She's supposed to be the leading force of the good guys right at this point, but as she was second on there second on the first race, but no, she's just, she's not living up to her duty, she's not living up to her duty, so yeah, and we fail, just speaking about Coco, we fail, just 
They're like, she's not up to her duty, and then we fail. Yes, that, that is completely different. We are still in the first place, aren't we? So yeah, we are just gonna go with that and just, just leave it at that and don't remind me from any of her again! Don't! Just don't! Don't do that! So we are just gonna go with that and... Yeah, I'm, I'm just thinking that we're just gonna... Yeah, go with that. Repeated it for over ten times, I believe. But yeah, I'm just gonna go and finish off with the race, and that will be the last race, kind of, because this is the actual last race what matters, in a way, but it's not the last race of the cup. But you can see that clearly Crash Bandicoot, even if he wins and I lose totally, it's, I, I can still win the cup, so... I can still win the gem what I'm after, so that's what I'm looking for, that's what I want. Hence, there isn't much to it anymore. So, let's see. Let's see what is the final track. And it's the Cortex Castle. Okay. Wait a moment. Okay. Cortex Castle. Cortex Castle. No, we fail. No, we fail on the first possible place we can fail at. And that is the start. The beginning. The beginning of the track. And I honestly didn't... Weren't too fond of this track as a child. I mean, I thought it was looked awesome, but I just kind of didn't like the track design. These days, I just like it a lot. I mean, the... The... Uh... The 90 degree corners, they are just fun to drive at. And yes, we got it! Not allowing Polar to take it from us, and now we're just gonna lose all of our turbos. How unfortunate. Unfortunate indeed. That is quite unfortunate indeed. However, we will be gaining our momentum back soon enough, and we will allow us to take this turbo, jump all over the place, and now drift our way to victory once again. And try to gain on Coco because she's actually trying. No! No! Sneaky placement, sneaky pop bottle right there, Coco. Well done, well done indeed. You sneaky scumbag, how could you do this to me? <laughs> oh, Pura, you are not as sneaky you left down, and I draw another bottle. But I usually disrespect bottles, but that showed how much sneakier you can be with them on Codex Castle, no less. So, yeah, we're just gonna. Say you say you can get mask and go try to get up Coco and get our revenge on her! Yeah, there we go! We will be grassing in the wall, but I don't get too much because I got the one thing what I wanted. Revenge! Delicious revenge! Ha ha ha! So we were jumping all over the place at once again. So yeah, we're just gonna drift our way to... Yes, I know. We will drift our way to that place because... I'm not gonna mention it this time. No, I'm not texting it up. Anyway, but I'm still gonna talk about it. Anyway, anyway, we're just gonna try to drift as fast as we can because I will do not do not want do not want do not want Coco to No! Pura, <laughs> Pura, I thought you were pretty devious. Yeah, that was pretty devious plan indeed. Well calculated, knowing that I would go into that place at that correct point in time. Exactly then, I wouldn't be paying too much attention to that, and then I would hit that. Oh dear, Polar is right behind us. That's not good. That's yeah. I'm actually not worried about Polar anymore. It's more about the Coco. Okay. Even though I have the game in the back, I still don't want to lose. I I really feel take pride from winning all the races. So we're gonna jump all the way, and now we will drift our way across. The finish line! And that, my ladies and gentlemen, will be the Green Gen Cup! Then that might conclude the episode. Not sure, not sure exactly. So yeah, I mean, you already have a few minutes to watch. And also, yeah, uh, doing the Gem Jones these in, the, in order in a way. But yeah, I, I guess, I guess that would be a good way to end the episode. A good way to end the episode indeed, maybe, I don't know, I don't know, but I will just do a little bit of a thing right now. Mm. Uh. Mm. Sorry about that, sorry about that awkward pause. And now, Codex is once again better than Coco and Crash combined! 
and he will take the green gem and use it to power the Cortex Vortex to take over the world after taking over. <laughs> Is that why we collect gems? Because Cortex Master uses Cortex Vortex to take over the world after saving it from this alien scumbag. Really? Is that it? Is that it, Codex? Don't be sneaky on me. I know what you're up to. So yeah, I guess we could do one more, or we could do all them all. I guess we could do them all. The blue gem cup is next, and now we will brace ourselves and take the blue gem cup, accept the challenge, and see what it will offer to us. See indeed what it will it will offer to us. Uh, first track, I believe, is going to be Dragon Mines or Tiger Temple. Not quite sure, but yeah, it's gonna be Tiger Temple, eh? So, Coco is gonna be our first place, quite odd. So yeah, they're just gonna drift our way from the very beginning to the very end. Also, I hope not losing any turbos along the way. So we get the TNT box spot. It's not all that great on this track because the fact remains to be that, hey, the thing is, the thing is that I honestly don't like TNTs and things like that on this track because the fact is that I cannot use it to detonate on that thing without losing all of my momentum and that is not good when you are trying to use a shortcut of your own. So we are just gonna leave it at that and just go with them and we get a bomb. So... Okay, so you wanna use a missile against me. I do not allow it because I wanna hit tiny as well. <laughs> so yeah. The thing is that Crest will be in front of us. Actually, he's trying to beat me in this race. It's this battle of wits. I will try to beat my own creation. My own creation. Crest Bandicoot. And... I will not allow the TNT to... Not the TNT, the homing missile to hit me. And I will be using the shortcut right now, right now because I can. But the Yuga Gamask, I can use the shortcut and take the lead over Crest. That will allow me to get a model as well. I'm on the first place, but I'm gonna leave behind on a very convenient little face place spot. Even though I could have have it hit either crash or the shortcut. But yeah, I don't really care much about the shortcut because my lead is on. Unbelievable! It cannot be broken. It, I cannot lose it like this unless I hit the flames. I get hit by a flamethrower and spin out. So yeah, that just doesn't matter all that much, so we're just gonna leave that nitro behind, and we will be drifting our way to Rick Tori from this on this track. So yeah, the thing is that I say that way too, way too much, but I don't really think that there's much else I can really say about that. So yeah, we're just gonna finish the race, take it on, and just be done with that. So yeah, the race will be all done and over, and now... We will be doing the next track, what I believe is the Dragon Mines, or it's gonna be the one other race. The one other the race, what I really, 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 really like, and I don't wanna reveal it until it comes on. Until it comes on, my favorite soap that it will come on, I will not reveal it to you just yet. And here it is, the Zero Speedway. So anyway, <laughs> just waiting for, just waiting for a soap to start, you know, but I don't really watch soaps myself. Not that much, I know that... They are popular amongst people, or in most, in most cases, but I really don't like watching soaps all that much. I'm more like more action-y, uh, or things what actually are... Actually, a good question. I, I'm trying to think here. What do I like when it comes to TV series? Because I don't really watch TV all that often. I mean, I used to watch it a bit more, but... Even now, uh, during this year, I just haven't been watching TV all that much. I used to watch TV quite a bit, actually. I used to watch TV series around... Mm, from 9 to 10, there would be also this one. The series would come along, what I had a similar kind of style to them. Like CSI, Mentalist, and things like that. Doctor House. So, I really enjoyed watching those series, but then I just kind of stopped. I, I really just stopped. I, I didn't really... No, that I, I didn't really watch TV all that much anymore. I don't know really why I did that, but I just didn't watch it because I just kind of was busy. I just didn't focus on it, and I just had something better to do in a way. I mean, I, I just kind of got into myself on onto uh, chatting with people. I believe I, I started to chat with people more. I wanted to talk with people and just be connected, you know, talk with people like Cruz and such. So yeah. 
It just, it has just been a good time talking to them, and I appreciate make, making that choice of mine because the thing is that it's fun to talk with people because the thing is that I really, really like talking with people, and I did not miss that bottle. Don't, don't start talking about that. But yeah, I, I really like talking to people because that really helps me to bring more things about myself and. I fail, I fail indeed, but there's no matter to it, because the fact is that we are not gonna fail this track, because I know this track is sad and out, and I know that I cannot fail on this track, because I cannot lose on this track, I can fail on this track, but I cannot lose on it. Maybe I can, but, if I, but that's pretty difficult for me. So yeah, that will be the end of Silver Speedway! And yeah, I, I really, really think that... Uh, I, I, I've been substituting watching TV with talking people. I, I really like talking to people, and I think I've been pondering more about things lately. And look! Codex with 18, Crash with 6, Tiny with 6, and Engine with 6, and then there's the Coco Polo Tronic 11,000! Not 11,000. 1,100, so yeah. <laughs> anyway, we're just gonna... Uh, overlook that and then just go with that. So we are just gonna emerge, emerge, immerse ourselves to the next race. What will be presented upon us? The next race? The next race indeed. This race. This race. And it will be the race of Dragon Mines. And yeah, dragons, dragons, dragon mines. I don't know, actually, know why it's called dragon mines, except for the fact that it's Komodo dragon. So, what are they? Komodo Joe and Komodo Mo are based around. So that's why it would be Komodo the dragon mines. But the question is, why would they have a mine in the first place? I I don't see the connection really. I mean, I really don't. Why would Komodo? Joe have a mine. I don't really understand why he would. Because what connects Komodo Joe to mining? I, I think that they were uh, throwing shots in the Grass Bandicoot 2 and then thinking about it. They need, they need ore to create steel and iron. So they would have a mine, so they could have their swords. I guess that's the thinking progress behind this place, but I think I still think it's pretty far-fetched in a way. Sure, I was able to come along with it pretty soon, but still, it's kinda far-fetched. <laughs> so yeah, I mean, I think I might have thought about it earlier, but I just did, don't really think why they thought it. I guess I can think now why they did that. Just. I just don't know. I just don't think that there's much connection to it. Because even though they, they need ore, the great sauce, I still really feel that it's kind of far fetched. And that will be it. That will be it. And we will be unleashing the fourth ball. And that will be ending the race right there. So that will be the end of that race. And that will be all fun and dandy. So yeah. I'm honestly thinking about cutting this part in, in half in a way because. I, I really do not want to take your time too much because it's it's difficult to watch very very long episodes. I know how you feel. I know how I feel when I watch long episodes. It can be a bit tedious, but it would be convenient for me to upload it in one episode because it would be just very well organized and also. I don't know. I don't know. It's it's kind of difficult for me. I really want and I really don't want. So that's that's something to it. So we're just gonna drift away the victory on this area and we're just gonna leave the TNT box behind and it's gonna hit Pura again. Why does it hit Pura is beyond me, but it does indeed hit Pura! And that will be indeed that the thing of a bob about that. So yeah, we're just gonna drift, 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 drift in the engine laps and the engine laps we shall. Power slide! We shall power slide indeed and hope that we will be able to do what we want to do. And no! <laughs> oh! Yeah, we could do exactly what we want to do and fall down in the most gruesome death ever. Falling into toxic waste. How brilliant. It's just glowing in the dark. So anyway, Crash Bandicoot, I will have my revenge on you. That I damn well have, will have. 
your spine, Doctor Neocortex. We are not allowed. A vermin like you to be in front of me. Because you have beaten me so many times in the past, but now I will not allow you to do that. Not this time! This will be the first time I will be bracing against you. I mean, battling against you. But it's not a really an official battle. But still, I will beat you with this bomb. There you go, Crash. That's my little payback. And I will be paying you back all this dirt. All this time I can, because, yeah, there are only few more races we can do that on. Only few more races, indeed. So, that's quite important, and I cannot really pay you back on the relic races, and when we are done with that, that's that's gonna be it. I I can do, now I say, I can do the, 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 the time challenges on the every track beating oxides, oxides times and all, but that's, that's not gonna be the main part of thing of things what I do, so yeah. I can uh, post narrate it, but then again, then again, I really, really prefer live narration over post narration because the fact is that live narration is way more fun to do because yeah, it's it's just much more fun to do and it's just I don't know, it's just much more fun to do live narration and I just like doing live narration because I just don't know what's gonna happen. I mean, you with post narration, I just really don't have the outburst what I have what I can have with other things. And we're gonna jump our way to victory with the exact time of 50 seconds on the last lap. And that's it's gonna be ending. Our racing, our racing, indeed. But I really don't know if I'm gonna end this episode or not, because I really do wanna end it. I really do wanna end it right here, but then again, then again. Who knows, who knows, who knows indeed. So yeah, I don't know, I don't know. I do not know what I'm supposed to do. But, I tell you something, I tell you something indeed. I, I think that I will be just gonna do them all right now. Okay, yeah. I mean, there's only two more left, so we are over halfway there. Whoa! Yeah, I just, I just usually, I'm a person who just goes, when I go over half, I'm not turning back because if you, Okay, let's let's give you an example why I think the way I do, okay? So, you have a 10 mile swim, you have a 1 mile swimming what you have to do, okay? And you swim, uh, no, I'm just gonna use kilometers because I just don't know anything about the miles and feet. <laughs> but anyway, so you have a, a 1 kilometer swim to do, okay? You're, you're with me so far, and then you swim 600 meters, what e are equal to 60% of the, 60% uh, of your swimming, what you have to do. So, you have less, less things to go through in front than you would have when you would be turning back. So, if you go over halfway, just go all the way. And if you just, I just honestly think that it's much harder to turn back after you have gone over the half because you have more things to go through when you turn back then, because yeah, that's that's this how, how it is. We're swimming anyway, swimming anyone? <laughs> so I guess Rex will be getting that reference right there. So yeah, that will be the end of the rambling and that will be the beginning of the Yellow Gym Cup! And you know, Yellow Gym Cup, you know the Yellow Jacks, what it was all about, indeed. We all know what it, they were all about. Tingo Canyon, Tiny Arena, Horror Skyway, and Oxide Station. One of my few favorite tracks, except for the Tingo Canyon. Because of the armadillos, but I just tried to, tried to run over me, but I can allow them to do that. No, that's, that's not the thing that we are doing here, no. So yeah, Toko is going to be on the first place, and yeah. That's gonna be all fine and dandy, and we are gonna bump her, and that will be flashing on our screen and making us to be blind for a matter of few milliseconds. So yeah, and that will be leaving a bottle behind, hoping that someone would hit it, but make it use the night with people I just don't know the bits, the bits, not people. They're not people. Could they be considered people? I mean. I, I really don't know what can be considered as people, because I believe that there is a 
life around the around other planets as well because I'm, I'm not thinking that we are on the space alone but then again we might be the only ones with intelligent thoughts anyway but maybe we are or maybe we are just dumber than the other species on the plant on the other planets who knows I I no one knows that's the fun fact you no one knows so we can only theorize and think that maybe maybe it's this way maybe it's that way who knows we don't so yeah also yeah anyway we're just gonna go with that and then just go with that indeed keep Coco behind us and just try to win this no no I will not allow that Nitro to hit me that that is the thing what I cannot allow and I'm gonna hit my own battle because no one else wanted to hit it no one else wanted my dear bottle so we're just gonna end the race with a cloud on our heads and that will be all fun and dandy. So, Togo will be on the second place. I wonder if she will be up to her challenge this time. And now we will see who is the greatest racer on these tracks. Me or Coco or Tiny or Crash or Polar or Pura. Unfortunately, the Dying Engine seem to be falling back a bit. I mean, I'm quite, quite sad for them. In a way. So, anyway, we're gonna go with the tiny arena. And now, this is the one, the greatest arena, the one of the biggest tracks in the game. I don't know if it's the biggest. I don't know what kind of track it is. But it's long, it's twisty, and it's huge. Yet it's still called Tiny Arena. Nope. Nope. <laughs> nope! Not gonna allow you to hit me! Not there, not there, not then, and yeah! So anyway, we're just gonna take that box, take that box indeed, and just go with that. And Pura is actually going to be in front of us, how unfortunate for him. Because here's the thing. I got a bottle! I, <laughs> I got a bottle. So, Crash! What are you doing here? You are not supposed to be there! You're supposed to be behind me! I will show you the way. Hit that bottle. That bottle. No, of course you won't, but... Okay, very well then, Pura. You want me to do? You want me to unleash the power? The one and the only. Once again, it shall be released. Once again, I shall go with it. The one and the only. War ball! <laughs> and yeah, I, I really want... I really wanted to unleash it there, because the fact is that I really don't want to overtake Pura before releasing it. And now it's the good guys versus the bad guys on the... On the, uh, on the places one and one and four, it was when I began saying the thing in my bar, but not anymore because Pura is falling my falling it all. Now it's Cortex versus the good guys. <laughs> so yeah, now it's yeah. When you see Cortex, Crash, Coco, and Engine, I really feel that's one of the sets in the game that good guys versus the bad guys, the main good guys versus the versus the main bad guys, and then there's Pura. And then there's Pura. And um, yeah. Yeah, anyway, anyway, we are just gonna try to drift our way to victory. And actually, Crash seems to be rather close to us. I mean, that's pretty surprising because everybody else is falling back except Crash. Except Crash! Bandicoot! He, my own creation, he's making me proud, but even though he's fighting on the wrong side! He's fighting on the wrong side! He, I feel very proud from Kras, but I just feel that he's fighting on the wrong side. He should be fighting on my side, with me in the lead, you know. Because Crash cannot really think all that much. He can, he cannot achieve anything by himself. I mean, I mean, I just don't know. Crash just isn't all that important in a way. Sure, I tried to do some testing on our girlfriend Tana, but was just went with Prince Stripe Potteru after the first Crash Bandicoot game, so that's that. And then I just kidnapped Coco on the second, so I could have a bit of leverage over him. Or, yeah, I believe I kidnapped Coco, or did I? As a child, I always thought it was kidnapping, but I think that Codex did not kidnap Coco. Codex which did just wanted to have his way with Crash. He just included Crash in his class. He didn't. He just wanted to have someone who he knows doing the job, what he what needed him to do to get the crystals so he could use the Vortex Vortex, I believe. 
So we're just gonna take that nitro down with our bomb and just go with that. And another third game, you can get those freed, so that's why uh, Aqua forced Crash to stop Cortex because if Cortex and Yuka would take over the world, that would be the end of all the good times and all. <laughs> so yeah, I believe that will be it. That will be it for this track. The tiny arena will be done and over with, and Coco will be on the second place, but only with nine points. How unfortunate for her! I believe that she will not stand a chance unless she wins on this tr this race, and this is one race what I possibly cannot lose because it's on the hot. Air Skyway! The Hot Air Skyway indeed! And now, it's time to finish off with the all, with the all, with the all indeed. Hot Air Skyway, we shall finish off with it, and yeah, go with that! So, we're just gonna leave down this little bottle, and hopefully it will hit someone, but it just hit no one. How unfortunate. So yeah, I believe that we're gonna get a shoot, and... Coco, why did you you drift when you are, had to? I mean, you you were just near me, and I was hoping that yeah. I know how to do that trick. I I really know how to do this trick, but I really just I know that this trick exists in the game. I have done it before, but I really never get to do it as. I never really get to do it when I try to do it. I don't know what really launches the trick, but I guess it's something and then I just go with that. I mean, I really am odd that there is this kind of glitch in the game. And more than that, I don't know how to trigger it in a way. So that's kind of odd. That's kind of odd indeed. And that will be giving us a bit strange of an lap time, really, because I really think that they'll have... No! 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 Well, I guess that we can call it even. I guess we can call it even now. So yeah. The thing is that... No, yes. Yeah. Yeah, Levy. Le... Levy. It's my cat here. Yeah, Levy. Yeah. Yes, I know. It's... It's, it's usually kind of... Known a bit like that. I, I don't know really know why. I, I really would like to, well, go and see the wet with him because I just really do care about my cat and I really, really just, I'm really worried about him. But the thing is that I, I'm not one calling the shots on the cat, you know. Even though I want to take him to the wet, I really cannot do that by myself, because I don't really have the money, I don't really have the... I don't really have the means of transporting him to the wet, so that's that's kind of a problem. So, that's that, and I, I really feel sad for my cat, I really want to feel more comfortable when it comes to him, because I, I really just have this doubt in my mind that he's suffering, and that's bringing me down a bit. That's honestly bringing me down a bit from time to time, because I... And we now we fail! We, we fail the trick even though I wasn't trying it. Anyway, the thing is that I, I really want to care about my cat. I really do, and I do care about my cat, because... I... I've been living with this cat of mine for over... For over... 14 years. <laughs> over 14 years. Because I had this cat when I was three, and it really is very meaningful cat for me, because I really do care about him, I really do, because he's, he's really something special for me, he's a very big part of my life, yeah, yes you are, you are a very big part of my life indeed, hmm. yes you are, yes you are. So anyway, we are gonna continue our challenge on the Crash Team Racing after rambling about my own dear cat. Yes, yeah. I could go close the door, but I really don't want. I wanna keep open doors for everyone onto my studio in a way. No, I mean, it, it, yeah, the, the, the language switches and then the thoughts switch as well. The, the, the same goes with the narration, so yeah. 
So you get to hear some finished rambling right over there. Let's be going to the Oxide Station. The Oxide Station indeed. So, yeah. <laughs> so yeah, indeed. So we're just gonna leave that ball behind. Hit trash! Hit trash indeed, that's great. Trash gets crushed! And I'm not gonna... Nope. You... How could you do this to me, Coco? I cannot allow myself to lose to you. Not yet, not now. So yeah. Okay. Okay, okay, so let's try to focus on the race and not on my cat, yeah. Even though the priority is on the cat if something is wrong, so I have to quit the narration and all if something happens to it. And yeah, but that's the thing, if something happens to it. And I'm pretty sure that nothing should be going wrong in our, uh, my kingdom, in my kingdom, in my own home, in my very own home. Living in my own black of flots. Black of flats, actually. Black of flats, yeah. Anyway, it's black of flats. What am I saying? Block of flats. <laughs> just the, uh, just the thoughts. They are just all messed up now. So is my language. My, so is my English. My English is messed up. <laughs> and uh, so are the missiles bit messed up. They're trying to hit me, but they cannot. So, Coco, I will not allow you to beat me in my block of flats. No, I will not allow you to beat me in my block of flats. And yeah, I just... Yes. Yes, indeed. The power! The power, indeed. We will have the power of drifting. We have the power of jumping and drifting in the air. Drifting in the air. And yeah, that will be leaving an eye draw on the air. And that will be all fine and dandy. So, I just, I really do like singing myself, even though I'm not, might not have the greatest voice of them all, but then again, it's just so much fun to give it all the singing. And I really like singing the old Disney songs, like, uh, from the 90s, I believe, from the 90s, like, Hellfire. I, I could do it right here and now, if I want, and I guess I could, because... I could just could do it. Beata Maria, you know I am a righteous man. Of my virtue I am justly proud. Beata Maria, you know I'm so much pure than the common vulgar big licentious crowd. Then tell me, Maria, why I see her dancing there, why her smolding eyes still scorch my soul. I see her, I feel her, the sun caught in her raven hair is blazing in me out of all control. I hell like fire, hell fire. This fire in my skin, this burning desire is turning me to sin. But it's not my fault, I'm not to blame. It is the chips of gold which was goes. Yeah, I, I messed it up, I messed it up indeed. But yeah, I, I, I really could try to practice more on it, but. I really like singing, I really do. I, I it's, it's just a lot of fun to use your voice. Use your mighty voice and all the power what you have. To, what I have to do. The Draco Meteors. And the Super Powers. To sing. Because I have quite a good lungs. I have quite a, quite a bit of a powerful voice in my disposal. And once again, Cornish will be best in crest and Coco together. With only his own might. So we will grasping that yellow gem in our hands. And that will be all fine and dandy. So yeah. So yeah, that, that's all on fine and dandy indeed. And now we will be concluding this episode with the one race. The one race indeed. The one. The only. We will concluding this marathon of mine with the one. The only. Purple Gem Cup. This. It's a special gem cup. This, we don't, n honestly, if you have never played this game before, 
I just honestly think this is the biggest payoff there is in this game. I'm just gonna say it out loud, I'm just gonna say it out loud. If you have not played this game, I would recommend you to just shut it down. This is gonna be the last thing what I'm gonna do this episode, so if you're gonna leave here, I, I'm just gonna say thank you guys for watching, thank you guys for enduring my narration to this point, and like always, like always, leave a like, leave a comment, and have a fine day! And if you're gonna be staying here, I'm gonna tell you something. This is gonna be amazing, I'm just gonna tell you this much. It's gonna be the one, the only. If you have not played this game, you do have no idea what this is all about, so yeah. We're just gonna go with that and go with the purple gem cup, so... Now, it's time to challenge ourselves with the purple gem cup! And this is gonna be amazing, my ladies and gentlemen. This is gonna be outstanding! Now, we will lo lo commence the loading, and now I will reveal to you... The bosses! You're racing against the bosses on the Purple Gem Cup! That's right! That's right indeed! Against the bosses we are! And this... I just... When I was a kid, I hated the Purple, purple Token Challenges. I hated them with a burning passion. And then I got... I, when I got myself around doing them, this was the biggest payoff there was. I mean, I was like, whoa, I'm against the bosses. I'm against the flipping bosses on their tracks. And I was like, mind blown. I, this was just too cool to be true. I mean, I was like, you gotta be kidding me. The like, mother of God, I, I, there, there wasn't anything to really describe the feeling. It was just so outstanding to just go against the bosses, go against the bosses again on their tracks, having the bosses face themselves in race. And that just is just so outstanding. I just couldn't hold myself. It just was so amazing to be true. And usually, if you have played this game before, uh, I'm just telling you that. Pinstrap usually is, if you have not played the game before, and you look at, this looks to be pretty interesting. I want to tell you that Pinstrap usually is not this fast. Usually Pinstrap is left on the uh, latter places. Not sure why. Perhaps it's because we need to challenge all the other bosses uh, before this, so he has more energy to go by. So yeah, this is going to be ending the first race, but that's only the first race. I, 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 I'm still, it's still tough time to believing that they added this to the game. This is just so massive of a freaking payoff. I, and, and I thought that winning this, winning this gem right here, because every gem opens a character, you know, every gem opens a character. I thought this was the way to unlock Nitrous Oxide. I honestly thought that I'm going to play, I, I thought that, yeah. I'm gonna play as that alien guy, the one with the cool spaceship and all, and I honestly thought that. I honestly thought that was the case here. And I, it, 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 this, this is just too much of a payoff. I, this is just too much for the game. I mean, it just... I don't know what I could say. I just really... This just brings a smile to my face every time I race it, because it's against the flipping bosses, man. The guys who gave you tough time before are now racing all against you on their tracks. And that's, that's just, it's so cool. It's just, it's just so fitting. It's just, it's too perfect. It's, it, this is just like fan fiction come true. That's, that's just how it is. I, I, I honestly don't know what to say about this race because here's the thing. There isn't anything to describe this. There isn't! There is just... You're basing it as the bosses. That's it. That, it just is so cool. I, I really like doing... Wow! Wow! Going more epic than the race alone! We jump over the Nitro as well! Not only was that a near miss win, it was a near hit! Woo! That was way, way too close! But we still dodged it. 
We dodged it like a ninja on the track of Papu Papu. We immersed him. We immersed ourselves to his abilities to dodge the Nitro with our jumping skills. And that cost us too much. Too much alongside with this race. I just really, really like... Yeah, you. I guess you get the point. Fame Stripe, what are you doing? Get it by a bottle! That's what you deserve, you... That's how Fame Stripe usually is. He's usually quite a bit back, you know. Oh, overtaking him by a lap is no surprise, really, because... Fame Stripe usually is disappointing in races, but I don't know what triggered him to be faster in the first race. I didn't... I really don't know. But anyway, we are going to race, and... Fame Stripe is... 18, 6, 6, 6, and 2. Okay. So, I don't know what the game is trying to tell me, but anyway, we're just gonna go with that. <laughs> anyway, anyway. The, the bloating shall commence, and next up is the Dragon Mines. The Dragon Mines, indeed. The one race before the one. The only. The Hot Ass Skyway. So, yeah. Now, let's see if we get a good start. And we get a good start, but Ripper seems to get a better one. That's quite unfortunate for us. So, let's see. We're just gonna take this, and we miss it! We miss it indeed. How unfortunate. So, yeah. We're just gonna leave it behind a TNT. And Pinstrap is on the second place. I don't know what's wrong with this place. I mean, I really don't. Hey, Rip Ripperoo, I, I got a present for ya. Here's a bump. You like it? It's not like the, it's not like the TNTs, but it's pretty close enough. Because... The TNTs are in Japan, the bump breaks. So yeah, because Japan doesn't have TNT, so they cannot be TNTs, you know. It's not a, it, they cannot be TNT, dynamite in the Japan, but they are, can be only be bombs. That's pretty interesting, actually. But anyway, we are gonna go with that and just pinstrap on the first place using his bombs once again. I mean... I can completely understand why the bomb bosses are not using their rifle weapons. Because, here's the thing, the game could not handle that, I promise you. I'm pretty sure the game could not handle that, that's why they are only one on one. The game gonna handle more than just one, because it's PlayStation 1 after all, it's, it's a... I'm sorry Pinstripe, but you are getting too close in my, in my opinion, and still keeping his... He's sticking to his gun, he's sticking to his tummy gun, and he's trying to strike again on me, because I honestly am a bit surprised that that Pinstripe, my favorite character when I was a child, Pinstripe, the favorite character for me as I was a child, is actually fighting for in these races. I, I, it makes me feel so happy. I mean, the boss is in my... Uh, in order of my favoritism was where uh, Pinstripe, Ripperoo, Komodo, Joe, and Papu Papu. That's how it was. That's how it was. So yeah, and I and when I played this at uh, the first time, I was indeed amazed. But I was disappointed that Pinstripe wasn't racing as well he could have. But now he's living up to my expectations. He is actually fighting, and I just don't know what to say. I really don't. Ripperoo and Finstripe, they look to be the ones being on the victory circle. And that makes me happy. That really does make me happy to grasp the best gem in the game with the best characters in the game. The best bad characters, anyway. I think. I like Engine a lot, but yeah. He's not here, so yeah, that's, that's about it. So anyway, we're just gonna start all the way on the Hora Skyway and even here. Pinstripe is indeed racing. So let's see how well we will do. How well we will do indeed on this track. Let's see how well we will fight. Let's all give all what we have. Except you, Papu Papu. Except you, Komodo Joe. Except you, everybody else. Except Pinstripe. And if that missile would have hit, I would have... I knew that it would have not hit, but if it would have... I don't know what I would have, would have said. I I think that it's a little bit of a raging would have ensued. No! <laughs> well, not raging, but a little bit of a disappointment in a way. Yeah. And we had to hit this TNT, probably left behind by a Ripperoo, who knows. So, 
Bim's trap is gonna be on third place, Pepper Puppy is gonna be on first. Who's on first? I, yeah, I, I do remember that show, but I don't remember exactly how it went. Not really too interested on the American humor, because, well, not all that much is there to Finland anyway. Except, and for the humor what is there, I really like some shows like Top Gear, for example. It is a very, very good show. I really enjoy watching Top Gear because it is a just. Yes, we all could have some of Top Gear right now. But yeah, the thing is that Top Gear is a very. Ripperoo! You and your almighty TNTs! And their convenient placing of them! I will not allow myself to be blown up. <sighs> that was close. That, that, I was a bit scary for a moment. But anyway, we're just gonna go with that and. Okay. Okay, Pinstrap and Ripperoo, we all know what we are gonna do here. You're, I'm gonna take this box and you're just gonna try to take on Papu Papu and... I'm just a TNT! I'm, I'm the bomb squad over here! I'm just removing the TNT, what are dangerous on this track. But, oh, no matter that, no matter to that, because here's the thing, I'm gonna take on the Papu Papu, the fat, the fat so himself, the man! And I'm just gonna take him down and eat. I'm hoping that no. Whew, they are gonna hit me, they are gonna hit me, but that doesn't matter all that much in the long run of the things. So I'm hoping that Papa Papa would not be able to fight his way to third or second place at this point. Even though it doesn't matter all that much. I really don't wanna see him to be even have the slightest chance of being on the victory circle in a way. So yeah. I, I would have prefer that Pinstripe and Ripperoo would be uh, in order, Pinstripe and then Ripperoo, and Papu Papu. What are you doing? Papu Papu, what are you doing? You are not supposed to win this race. You are not supposed to try to overtake me. And that's pretty bad if Ripperoo goes first before Pinstripe. That's pretty bad indeed. But Pinstripe seems to be falling back a bit, and... I would prefer Papu Papu before. Woo! Okay. That was a bit scary. That was a bit scary. Okay. It seems that this crap will be falling back a bit. And there isn't anything I can do about it. So we're gonna throw a bomb and finish the race and hope. Let's hope. And this track will be on the victory circle with us. With us. With Ripperoo and. Yes! Yes! That is. The most epic victory circle I have ever recorded and probably ever will record! Because this is the thing. All my favorites. Together. And this is just too good of a way to end the episode. In a victory circle, no saving this time, no! This is gonna be it. This is gonna be the finale for this episode. And I'm telling you. There is still much more to come. So yeah. The final relics. And then you will see what I what my thing with the little city was all about. But yeah! If you stayed this far, I I come I command you that You are a dedicated viewer, my dear. You are a dedicated viewer indeed. And I must thank you. Thank you for Going all this far in this video. So going all this far in this video indeed. So yeah. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for watching to this point of my narration. That really tells me something. That really tells me something that you you really like watching me. And that, that really makes me feel happy. It really makes me feel, doing, feel like, yeah, I'm gonna do more of these. So yeah. Like always. Thank you guys for watching. And leave a like if you enjoyed my video, and I would be surprised if you did not enjoy my video if you watch at this point. So yeah, and also leave a comment. I honestly, if you watched at this point, I honestly would like to hear your opinion about the entire video because there there might not be everybody watching this video till the very end. You know, this is the longest video I'm gonna upload for now anyway. So yeah, and I'm just making it longer and longer by the by the minutes. So yeah, and all also have a extraordinary, have a have a extraordinary. Mm. 
Yes. It's tongue, it's tongue twister it is. Have an extraordinarily fine day. And thank you. Thank you for watching.